Hi guys, so in this video um, we're going to go over the left hand side of this navigation. On the last video we went over, we did a general overview of what each of these buttons are. Um, so I'm just going to start with the data, uh, the data entry in the database. This is where all your information lives and we just have players, dates, um, and pretty much events where they go through fitness testing. And these are variables that I chose. Um, you'll want to input your own variables before going through this. Um, things in red are calculations. So anytime you see a red thing up there, it's a it's a calculation, so you know not to type in there. And as we go all the way across, um, we have some scores that we develop, um, and I'll talk about those a little bit later in another video. And then we have more scores that we develop. These are also calculations. So anything that doesn't have a white header is a calculation. And I'm going to go. Now move on um, to the profiles, and this is a similar thing. Um, this is a list of profiles um, of the athletes that we have in our database. This is important because we don't want to type in um, an athlete's position or their date of birth or their sex or a group that they're in um, repeatedly if that thing doesn't change. Um, it's a waste of our time and it, there's more room for human error, so we have a database of just athlete profiles that we then integrate with our main database. And then we'll go to the team dashboard here. I don't want to go too much into this because we built it, but you got to know how to use it. Um, so there are filters here that work on this table of our data that we're taking from our database. And let's say that we just want to look at the defenseman. If we do that, then this list will narrow down to defenseman. Um, and then we also have a date selector here, and this is all based around a certain date. So if I select a different date, the information will change, um, etc. And now we have an opportunity if we want to. If we get overwhelmed, we can collapse this whole top portion um, by clicking one of these buttons here. So if I click the minus sign, the top goes away. Um, if I click the plus sign, the top comes back. And I'll go over this section next, um, which so then we can also expand and collapse stuff to the right because all that we see here are scores. This is part of the whole thing that we did is that we develop scores, category scores, and an overall score. And if I expand this out, um, we have all the metrics that we have or that are relevant to us. And some of the metrics are blank because we didn't perform testing with those metrics. Um, but here's the key, so forwards scores are um, in red and defense are in silver and goalies are in blue. And the way that we can interact with these charts is right now we're looking at all the groups, which in our case is U18 and U20 groups. We can change it. Um, this is kind of where we interact with it. Maybe we just want to look at the scores for those groups. Um, and maybe we just want to look at training camp events. Um, these are the way that we interact with our charts up here, and we can see the data down beneath. And let me close that off. And now the last area, probably the most exciting area, is if we scroll to the bottom. Well, we have averages, and these span across. So if I expand it out, they'll span across for each of the metrics for forwards, defensemen, and goalies. And then we have this chart selector type of tool where we can pick a metric. For example, I'll pick a different metric. And we'll see the results for each of, our, each of our athletes, see the top and bottom performers. And we do this a couple of times in a couple of different ways. And when I expand this out, this is important to note, is that these charts are also filterable. And they're based on the table. So you could filter the charts from up top, or you could filter them from down here. So if I just wanted to look at defensemen here, now the chart will filter down to just the defensemen. Um, all the charts will. Um, and the reason why I have filters here is because you can interact with them in any area. So I could just just as well go to the top and say I just want to look at U20s and then scroll to the bottom and these lists will be just the U20 group and notice it applies to all these filters here so I could un uncheck it and it'll go back to everybody. So that's how that works. Let's see what else is in here. And the player dashboard, that's um, we haven't done that yet. That'll be in the next series of videos. Um, and let me know if you have any questions about how this works. 
um, I'll, I'll be around. You have my contact information right here. And in the next video, I'll go over this right-hand side, which is the exciting part of this.